Hello there, my name is Mike. I'm going to show you how to set up the R Beta AI software on your mobile phone as well as navigate to the website and set up a new place for infrastructure management or to use QR codes to obtain feedback from customers. R AI is a logistics um, driven as well as infrastructure management driven software which is useful in many, many ways. I will show you through some of the menu options, how we can set it up. So I'm sharing my uh, mobile phone screen and that way you will be able to see what I'm doing and where I'm navigating to. So the first thing you want to do is go over to uh, the Google Play Store and from the Google Play Store, you can see here's my phone from the Google Play Store. We will go and search for our beta.ai app. A R B I T R E dot A I. Our beta AI. So there it is there, online engineering. And yeah, you would have click install. I have already installed it, so I will just click open. It's asking me for fingerprint. It's just been removed for security. So now here is the basic functionality of the app. The Arbita AI app is based on social media. So it has a timeline which you can scroll like you do with previous uh, applications. If I click on the feed here, you can see the previous uh, employee or customer feedback that I have been testing and showcasing through the app. So traditionally, you would first need to log in to the website. You can add a place from the app. I will log out here and show you. So this is the navigate to again, rbita.ai website, a r b i t r e dot a i. You can download the app from there also from the play store. It comes in Spanish and English and Russian. If I click on QR code now, and then from within my app, I'm going to now click this one here, scan QR code. So I haven't logged in. It doesn't use any passwords or anything like that. Scan QR code. There it beeps me in. So I will minimize the phone. You can see properly the website. We are using a demo test for marketing purposes and to showcase the app. Traditionally, first thing you would do is add a place. So here you can create place and you would add your organization types. I've been working with various hotels and restaurants and shopping malls in a city in South Africa on the coast. And I've been adding these business types. So you can go through these at standard contact address. Once you type in the address, it will use Google Maps to fill out your longitude and latitude uh, coordinates. Using the uh, app, I can also from here, go to places. And then on the plus sign here, add a plus. Uh, with the location services on, the app knows where I am situated. So it suggests the first most convenient place. So it depends if you're a manager on the go and you're not tied down to an office, you would be using the app more than the website. Once you've added a place, you need to create a QR code. So if I use now the website, you can't create a QR code from the app and I click on alias generation. I have three ver four various uh, dimensions, sizes to choose from. I like using 600 by 600. It's a very big size. I would click on that and click generate. And there we go. There I have my, my QR codes. These you can download into a zip file, send off to one of your graphic designers, or just use the code just like that and stick onto a uh, a device like um, that you would want maintained by a service level agreement, 
such as an air conditioner or a computer, if you are a restaurant, a deep fryer or a cooker, or if you want feedback form on the service or the customer service, you could place it at a bar or you could place it, for example, at the entrance of your work premises, at the office, even on cars or something like that. So now I've generated my alias. So I have for you here uh, an already designed, completed mm, QR code. And now I'm going to scan this QR code using the app. So I click here on scan QR code. And what it does is it opens the an existing QR code registration. I have already linked this QR code to this business. So the last open place you would have had on your mobile phone would have linked this QR code to this place. That is how you link a QR code. So now with my phone, I'm going to close the app and I'm going to now use the native camera, your good old camera, the native camera on your mobile phone. As if I was a customer or employee working for Ocean Basket restaurant chain, I would now scan this QR code in order to leave feedback, which has already been automatically set up in the background. There's no programming or any other work you need to do. Once the QR code is linked, you can use it for feedback or to call for logistics. So let's go. Oh, I missed it. There we go. And then I tap the link, the pop-up link that comes and this link opens up on my phone. So now it's on the website within my phone. I need to go through an anti-spammer check. Bridges. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. And now I'm left with this screen after scanning that code. So I could leave, for example, feedback on a device or a cup of coffee. So let's say I went to Ocean Basket Bolito and I ordered a cup of tea but it was empty or half cold. I'm going to complain about this cup of tea that I received at Ocean Basket. So then I click over, over here. Okay, once I've taken a photo, you don't have to take a photo, but I like them. And then would you like to comment on the picture? So, okay, I ordered tea. But it was cold. Okay, some arbitrary information just to show you. And now I'll click here on the send button. So that's it. We've got it. Thank you very much. Now I've received my feedback. So now the manager goes back to their application. They are using either the app or the website. Both of them will work. And I'm logging in with my fingerprint there. And I want to demonstrate the social media aspect of using the app. So if I now click on the feed here, I can see there's my cup of tea. I ordered tea, but it was cold. And it's on top of the previous event, which was I need to set up this webcam for a video conference call. So that's the basic functionality I wanted to show in this video. I'd like to keep all the videos about 10 minutes long. Adding a place, alias generation, and of course your tickets and your tracks and things like that. Later on, we can go through videos like administration, setting up other employees, access rights, using the logistics function to, to get orders coming through, which, 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 which would be in shipments. And then you could specifically also add devices. So we've got other people working on PlayStations, Xboxes, consoles, Sony's, Apple Macs, and so on, calling out service requests for maintenance of these um, devices. So thank you very much. That's how you set up our beta.ai on your phone and how you log into the website. Thank you.